day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Everybody, God bless you. I'm, I'm, I hope everything the Lord is continuing to bless you and protect you. Uh, keep you in prayer concerning the living in this uh, 2021, getting through and get, going past the COVID-20, uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. But you know, the thing is that God has brought us a mighty long way. Uh, we know that the uh, this thing started and real pick up steam in 2020 early 2020 and over half a million people have died but as you know the and we need to keep those people those families in prayer because they lost their loved one and keep ourselves in prayer because god has brought us through 2020 and there's light at the end of the tunnel for 2021 so just this continue to be safe and just trust in the Lord. What I'm doing today, I'm starting off at a, a new format called Make It Plain. And what we want to do is to summarize our uh, Bible studies that, that we had, uh, or are having, really. Uh, this one is for the uh, 7th of uh, March. But the bottom line is that, that we want to make sure that what God has uh, revealed to us is shared to other believers and with the this format, uh, making it plain is to go through the the summaries of our studies and and break down the the scriptures and the revelation that we have learned. But knowing that you know, because the, the I guess some of the challenges that when we have the, the our form as a group, sometimes when you record it and then you want to go ahead and package it, sometimes it's hard for people to follow. Uh, because we go through a lot of uh, rabbit trails. And I want us to therefore is to go ahead and do the summary sessions called Make It a Plain, to just focus on what we learned, uh, breaking down in, in, in a segment where uh, people can, can study and review those videos, those summaries and make it plain uh, and apply it in everyday life, amen? And one of the things is that uh, we're also, when we start making plain, and to first make sure everybody understands what the vision of the ministry is. Uh, and and this, right now I'm showing you on the slide uh, the vision of the ministry. And we're going to go over go over that vision. But first, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. You said when two or three are gathered in your name, you've been amiss to them. I now invite and receive the present Holy Spirit as you lead us and guide us and anoint us to, to share the word, share the gospel and equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. We thank you for all that you're doing in our lives and continue to do in our lives. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. God bless. One of the things that I want to make sure everybody understands, what's the vision of the ministry? Uh, and I'm, and on the slide it says, as we proclaim Jesus Christ as the head of the church and the manifested word of God, our goal is to teach the word of God distinctly so that it may be applied in our everyday lives in a practical and effective manner. Therefore, being transformed into world overcomers, change our immediate world and all those with whom we come into contact. By planting the incorruptible seed of Christ into people's hearts and believing God would give the increase. The revelation, the motto is Revelation 12 and 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. And always remember that we give should always give God the glory, giving God the glory. And, and in the ministry, giving God the glory in your life, God, giving God the glory in my life. And that's why I always make sure we remember that. Uh, but it is very important for us uh, to, to hear what the Lord is saying. And it is so important to us to apply the word of God in our everyday life. And that's really what I want to be able to show uh, for this segment here and make it plain. So this is the first format. I hope you like it. And I'll go ahead and try to uh, make sure that we keep it simple, uh, keep, keep it plain, amen. Uh, one of the things is that the, the title that we did on the 7th of March is called The Anatomy of Faith. Uh, the central idea of the text is, is using these scriptures here, Hebrews 11, 
uh, one, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And then Mark 11, 24, therefore I say unto you, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will, and you shall have them. Uh, we put down and we're going to go back in the study when we go do the summary is go over these slides here. But I do want to make sure that we cover uh, the key scriptures that we're going to be looking at uh, for you to go back and review. Uh, not only with the Hebrew scripture, we are talking about in the Mark 11, 22 to 24, uh, when we actually break down uh, the, 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 the scripture dealing with uh, faith and, and making sure we all remember that have faith in God. Uh, we, we have 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. Uh, Rebel, in Romans 1, 17, for there the righteous God revealed from faith to faith, as it written, the just shall live by faith. And we we'll try to cover the scriptures uh, in part of this, this segment uh, of this particular study. Uh, Luke 8, 43 to, 40, 43 to 48, Mark 6, 1 through 6, Matthews 8, 5 to 13, uh, to, to actually help break down the word of God uh, for the study that we covered during the uh, 7th of March. The other scripture we want to make sure we cover is James 1, uh, verses 13 through 15, Galatians 5, 17, and Genesis 3, 6. Uh, as as breakdown script that we will we cover in depth during the study and and like I said I think this is the Bible said a study to show yourself approved and this is an opportunity you know to take time and go back through this uh, uh, video and and go back and read those scriptures for for the study to show yourself approved what we're trying to do is at least show that when when these scriptures are used how God is using all of us Amen. So what I want to do, we're going to go into the study, and 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 I ought to pray is be patient, and and watch how God move in our life concerning the scriptures, concerning what He wants us to do. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, one of the things is when I when I when I came up with the uh, the scriptures and uh, dealing with anatomy of faith, I wanted to then tell you, man, the challenges. Of, of living life uh, by faith. Uh, you know, we have a tactical uh, uh, challenge uh, to live by faith. It's, it's, it's all the different challenges we have, we, all of them needs to be addressed by faith. You know, like I said, the scripture said, the, the just shall live by faith. So if we're gonna live by faith, we wanna go ahead and understand the components breaking down faith. Right. And and you know, like I said in the with the uh Hebrews eleven one, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It's very important for us to know what is faith. <laughs> and, and to break that down to, to, to so that we can use those components in our everyday life. Because that's the key. What do we do on our everyday life? If we're gonna live by faith, <laughs> we need to understand what is faith. Amen. And here you see faith now, first of all, faith is always dealing with the present. Faith is dealing with uh, executing the day-to-day -day challenges of life. And, and that's why it's so important for those who come into the body of Christ and those who are in the body of Christ is that we walk by faith, not by sight. And, and the thing about it, we walk by, and I like the piece about it when it says, now faith is the substance, the, 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 that's the tangible uh aspect of of faith is is the substance in the spiritual realm and our job is and that's what the hope comes in is for it to come and be manifested in our physical realm in our in our lives for it can impact the challenges that we have but it, it is a substance and it does start in the spiritual realm because it starts from god it comes from god and God is a spirit. You know, I don't know if you know John 4, 24, God is a spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So we, the substance 
starts off, man starts off in the spirit. And our, our objective is by living by faith is to have the, the spiritual uh, power, the spiritual anointing, the spiritual gift that comes from God to be manifested in our physical realm. And the hope is the part that we want to have. See, hope is an expectation of something good. Now, some people, that, that, that may be a challenge in itself, but that's what a Christian wants to live his life by expectation of something good. Because we know life is going to bring us uh, challenges that uh, we consider, uh, and I think some of you agree, some cases that things are not good, right? That's not pleasant, uh, that, that really challenge our own uh, being uh, and from sickness to uh, financial situations to relationships. You know, that life will present those things that not that we hope for, but what we have to deal with. But the hope is to be able to say, hey, I, I, we're going we're gonna to overcome this. We're gonna, this. This will pass. And by faith, we're going to bring it to pass by God. Let God bring that situation to pass. And evidence of things not seen. So when we, that's why I talk about it starts off in the spiritual realm. And it's really, you know, I tell you, so walking through life by faith, we need to understand this, it is a mind game. You know, the one of the scriptures I used to love, not a scripture, but one of the uh, ministry that came from uh, is we talk about this that your mind is the arena of faith. You are, you're gonna win or lose it in the mind. Is what are you seeing in your mind? What do you what is your visions that you see? And it, it it starts up here in your head, right? The 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 goal is that the substance that we're pulling from is coming from the the power of the Holy Spirit in our spirit, uh, and and the be able to tap into that, to have a framework, it's, it's right here, starting off in our head. That's why hope is, hope is just like, you know, you go to a football game and that's where you get pep rallies and so forth, is that when you're getting ready to do a competition, you want to see in your mind, before even a game occurs, you want, in your mind, you, you want to visualize how that game is supposed to be, at least your role in playing that game. Same thing with dealing with our nation and same thing you do in a corporation and same thing you do with your family is have visions. And when we have visions, our visions are supposed to be focusing on expectation of something good. So I'm saying is that as you live your life, you want to live your life believing and having expectation of something good happening to you daily. That's what you want to do. Instead of sitting there being depressed and saying, oh, life is going to be a, a challenge. Life is, 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 you know, when you have no hope, you, you, you dread uh, life. You dread the next day. Or you dread the next hour in the moment. And, you know, nobody really, at least I don't want to live dreading the, uh, a situation to turn out to be negative. I want to go ahead and have a positive outlook. And that's what you want to have even visions in your life is positive, amen? So that's why we need to understand the, the anatomy of faith is understand what is faith. And the fact is faith, now faith is, and that's what we want to be able to deal with, now faith is, what are you seeing now in your mind? Now faith is the substance that's why that substance in the spiritual realm starts off being visualized in the mind, uh, being coming from the spirit and, 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 and being framed in the mind by the Holy Spirit uh, of, of the expectation of something good. It is the evidence, what you see is the evidence of what's going on. And, and if you don't like what you see, that's when you want to use the power of God. That's when you want to see the expectation that you're, what you're going to receive, what you want to receive, is coming from God and not from you and not from the world. The world will give you a vision, but that vision normally is going to be something that's going to bring you down. Amen. So the challenge of the life is to that we walk by faith, not by sight. 
And so we have to live our day-to-day -day life by faith. Now, now...